great Nigerians and wonderful viewers and fans of living television. Good day. We're back again today on your favorite program, Issues of the Moment. In today's Issues of the Moment, we'll be looking at the presidential election petition court verdict and uh, our analysts in the house are going to look at it. We're very happy today because the uh, majority of them in the house today are lawyers. We have uh, two lawyers there to do justice to that. And uh, in terms of uh, other political issues as connected with this, we also have a historian in the house that will also handle that aspect. Today, from my far left, I have Barrister St. Moses Obunna. St. Moses Obunna is a practicing lawyer, is also a logician, a philosopher, and also a human rights activist. Barrister St. Moses Obunna, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. After him, I have uh, Barrister Empero Bonna. Barrister Empero Bonna is also a practicing lawyer in Abahi. Also, he is a, a human rights activist and also a human rights uh, lawyer. Barrister, you're welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you very much. Good day, Abias. After him, I have Comrade Nnamdi Lekwachi. Comrade Nnamdi Lekwachi is a historian. Not just a historian, he's also a televangelist and he's a man who loves dealing with uh, times and uh, numbers and dates. He is also a political affairs analyst. Comrade, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me, John Hill. Good day, viewers. All right, just about two days ago, the Presidential Election Petition Court commenced their, commenced their verdict for the petition of Allied People's Movement and filed on the 20th of March 2023, challenging the legibility of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu for the alleged, uh, for also uh, for the alleged multiple nomination of Vice President uh, Kashim Shatiba. Now, the Presidential Election Petition Court struck out the introduction of new issues in the Allied People's Movement reply to to respondents and also the motion for lack of jurisdiction. The presidential election petition also holds that Allied People's Movement lacks local standing to institute matters bordering on nomination and sponsorship of Vice President Kashim Shatima. I think that is where we are going to start for today and also delve into other matters as concerned the ruling on that day. I want to start with you. Uh, Barrister Emperor Obona on this. Okay. Um, the issue of the Allied People's Movement. Yes. And we all know what happened there. That, um, first of all, that party was a serious, really a serious contender. So I didn't expect that the court should take much effort in trying to dismiss the application because the contenders that we were looking for we are going to be Atiku and uh, Tinibu. So, but the issue of the Allied People's Movement, the court, they were dealing with pre-election matters, mostly pre-election matters, on the issue of Shetima. And Shetima did not uh, uh, have the word domination. So the court held that uh, those things were pre-election matters. And so there is something that I want to clear now. You know, Nigerians really had a wrong impression about what the court said. I listened to the judgment. The court said that the same thing that grounded uh, a pre-election matter can also be the same issues that grounds election matters. Depending on your ability to, depending on your ability to, to prove uh, what you call local standing, what the court says though, that was that if you are suing on a pre-election matter, what you will do is to uh, is prove that two things: that you are either you are either a a member of that party, and also that you participated in the primaries. That will give you local standing by virtue of section 84. Of the, of the electoral act. Now, the court also said that if after the election you are challenging non compliance with the electoral act, that what you will now do is to now show the court the particular damage or the court, particular injury that you suffered that you think that gives you local standing to sue on the population matter. So, what it means is that you can see sue on the population matter if you are not a party, if you are not a member of that party. But you need to show stronger evidence that you will be affected by that judgment. That's what the court said. And the court now dismissed 
that petition saying that the court didn't even dismiss it, the court struck it out. That look, I, I like the Muslim movement. They were not even contesting that they won the election. They are just saying that Tinibu is not qualified by virtue of the project by having the nomination. That was certainly what happened there. Thank you very much. All right, uh, Barristers and Moses Obenna, the court also said that uh, that uh, filing or that uh, petition is, uh, it is also an abuse of court uh, process. Yes, because uh, I listened to the judge. Well, taking, I think the, the tribunal took more time in analyzing what APM did than what happened in the suit of uh, in the APM wasn't in the race. I had no injury to suffer. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to lose. We're challenging the president over what they did not suffer. So they say it's abuse. You are not a member of it. You did not talk about whether what you will suffer if Shetima was qualified or not. That was why it is said it is a piece of court process. And it has been determined before when it has been challenged earlier. You see, the, what happened with the APM and the, their judgment is not where my problem is. And uh, after listening to it, I think I was even sleeping. <laughs> because I didn't see anything. There was no life issue. No life issue. Yeah. It's just a air cack in the size. Yes. So when they say threw it away in the manner they threw it away, I wasn't worried. Okay, uh, uh, comrade, talking about this, I know you're not a lawyer but a historian. Yeah. Now, uh, talking about uh, uh, this uh, issue of uh, allied uh, people's uh, movement and so on, as a concerned Nigeria, don't you think they have right? to have uh, even gone to court, not just because they have any injury. Yes, to they, they have right. They have right, no matter how you look at it, to enjoy the law facilities, to even approach the court. You understand? Voice. To say, Voice. They, they, they have right to stake the claim or to even assert such. But one thing we are looking at now is proof. You assert and prove what you have asserted. So what were the evidences? Or what were the facts, the hard facts that actually make your case um, uh, appealing before their lordships, you understand? Yes, being that they participated in the election, they have every right to say, when um, uh, the election we have uh, participated in, we feel that this candidate is not qualified or this. But then it depends on also what the substance of the law is. Because you, have, you even talk of the letter and the spirit of the law, you understand? the assumption of the law and the context of the law. So it depends on what the law facility itself is assuming, you understand. So they have right to appeal the court as a party and then as a stakeholder in the election. Don't forget also that if, if you say they had nothing to lose, don't forget that someone who was placed fourth was the, 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 the winner by court, you understand, in this country. So um, it's where it is. All right, uh, let me come back to you. Uh, that is of, about the allied uh, people's uh, movement. Yes, APM. Now, let's go to the highlights uh, of the justices uh, in the case of Peter Grigory O.P. Now, the, court, the church also in, in their verdict said that the, petition, the petitioners called 13 witnesses and ruled that some of the witnesses' statements are not admissible in the grounds that they were not pleaded during the pro-trial session. Council. Yes, that's actually where I was going. You see, let me be honest to you. The, the petition filed by the Labour Party, the petition had so many things that were wrong with it. And I had already gone on radio and I was on television and I have made some comments about all these things. What of all, the, the uh, Labour Party had uh, uh, 13 witnesses. Out of the 13 witnesses, the evidence of seven, uh, 10, 10 of them were struck out. Why did the court strike them out? The court said one of them that were invited by Supida, that their evidence was not front loaded, 
their strength will not front loaded too. That even those that were front loaded, the court held that the evidence did not were not supported in pleadings. I wonder how somebody can bring evidence that is not supported by pleading. Because pleading is everything. Evidence yes. that evidence that is not pleaded goes to no issue. It's a elementary part of law. And not only that, even the issue of uh, Tinubu being a being a, 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 a Guinea citizen. Due to that, evidence was not contained in any pleading. And uh, from, you know, it was at a particular work that raised that issue. The court held that there was no pleading to back that. But, but then I don't blame them. Let me tell you I don't blame them. They had only filed that, plea, that, that process. Then David Hundein, the guy now, you know David now? The, yeah, David the, Hundein, yes. yes. The guy now came up with the story of uh, dual citizenship. Uh, of uh, dual citizenship. So I think it was at this group rushed and they added it to their evidence. But then they could not amend the pleading. The question is, why did they amend the pleading? Maybe they will tell you that in the electoral acts, in the electoral rules, there are some, there's a time when you can no longer amend do some amendment. You don't, you don't just have the right to just amend. There are, you know, electoral election matters have time and they, they are special type of procedure. They're not just normal procedures. Yes. They're not just normal procedures. So, there are some lawyers who are arguing that uh, so why did, or that who can say that subpoena, that you must file a subpoena together with the suit. Uh, but I'm asking them, have you read the, the rules of court when it comes to election tribunal? Yes, that's what I say. The election tribunal provides the procedure upon which you do this. Thing. So you don't you do not import rules of court in normal proceedings in election matters because these are they are not suggested, they are not something. So what I'm actually saying is that it's, it's unfortunate that that uh, the, the witnesses out of ten witnesses, out of thirteen witnesses, mm -hmm. ten were disqualified. And the question is, how can you use three witnesses to to, to disqualify or to, to win an election in a, in a, in a, in a president, presidential matter? The moment this Ten witnesses were disqualified. That was when I knew that the Labour Party was going to have a problem. Because, because for you to win an election, in, if you win a case in any election, if you are saying that there was overvoting, if you are saying there was irregularity, if you are saying that there was malpractice, any of these things you are saying, you have to bring evidence of people who were there. If you are saying that in a matter of when you are viewing an election, that they were doing this, you have to call someone and say, that My name is this, I am a part of this party. You have to, you have to tender your party membership to show that I neglected you and you are. You have you, what you are saying, you are, you are not an impostor. You have to bring that thing that nobody give you. Then you now say that when we are doing the election in Abata Hall, Mr. A or Mr. B came and he shared money. Now, for you to now throw away all the elections done in a particular place, you must bring the evidence that people who are there, people, evidence of people who are there that saw that thing that happened. Now, the question is, how can three people actually prove it? Is it possible? And the worst part is that even the, I, I, read, I read the, I went to the Court of Appeal website and I read. The petition of a Labour Party. I was invited by um, Real FM to discuss that topic. So I have to go and read it. And I discovered that Peter B did not, is not asking the court to declare him the winner. He is not. Peter B was asking the court to nullify the election of Tinibu and to, and to order a, re, a re election. That was what he was asking for. He never asked for. He never asked that. If you want to talk about the obedience, we're all saying a, a, a runoff election, runoff election. They were not asking that Peter B should be declared the winner. It's not there. Now, and to me, that was the wrong thing. What the wrong thing is to do alternative relief. You would have asked for a relation and a runoff, and then ask alternatively that you be declared the winner. They don't do that. Now, even in, in the whole of the North, North, uh, North East and, and the North, do you know that Labour Party did not have agents there? If you saw the time that they were bringing out the digit, or while other parties were living in thousands and the Labour Party was in hundreds, they were not. So, the whole of the whole 12 other states, Labour Party had no much agent here. And that affected them. When they were tendering results, you know, I contest an election under YPP. When they were, after the election, they will give my agent his own copy. They will give other people their own copy. Everybody will have different, different colors, but you have it. Now, if during the election, the P, uh, uh, INEC refuses to bring the results, or the result INEC was bringing was blood, it, you can't see it. What you do is to tell your agent, bring our own. You give them notice to produce, that's what the law says. Give them notice to produce, say, INEC, bring your own results. If INEC refuses to bring it, you now bring your own and use that tender it. Then, that, during the, during the, 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 the Proceeding, they asked the Labour Party, Where is your own result? They couldn't produce it because they didn't have it. And that was what I mean, that Papa said, although he, he accused Peter B falsely. He said that Peter B had money, he refused to pay the agent. And because of that, I don't know why you read that interview. Then, because of that, that no, there was no agent to produce the result. And that was what happened. Peter B might not have, paid, might not have been given money, but the truth about it is that the Labour Party did not have many agents. And it affected them. That was why they didn't have the results. That was why they couldn't deny it. So the court said that this is not enough to just make a generic sentence. What is generic? Generic is gene, men, women. That 
eat that to a particular person. That is the word generic. It's not enough to just say, um, there was massive rigging, there was massive uh, 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 irregularity. Tie it down to, in boot A, in unit this. This is what this person did. Tie it down. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And that was what the lawyer did not do. So it's unfortunate that when you go to about everybody's angry. People are, are, are lambasting their head to dodges. They didn't know what the judge, I, I, in the course of this program, I will tell you the areas the lawyers made mistakes. Because I'm a lawyer. I did 11 presidential matters. I did two for Labour Party in Labour in Labor State, and I did nine for YPP, and I won all of them. Because here in that Romania, you cannot just come and uh, make a generic sentence that you, there was irregularity. Type it down in polling you this. This is the result I have, but this is what I like have. I plead my own, I plead INEC. You never put court without the two of them. In this, this is Mr. A, Mr. A went and shared money and they you know, cost this thing. The Labour Party did not do that. They, did, they were just making a wide statement without tying it down to, to specifics. And, and they expected the courts to now give them. If they, they now say that they went to INEC, that INEC refuses to give them the result. If INEC refuses to give you the result, bring your own result now. Bring it, they couldn't bring it. So, you see, that's the problem. I will still be explaining to you the areas that the lawyers make mistakes in the day. Okay, look at it. I'm sorry to take your time, but let me just say this. Just like the issue of 25% of Abuja. I, 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 I was on air and I explained this thing. That section, section 134, says that you must have scored 25% of today's states in, in, in today's state and Abuja. Now, the word of the constitution was today's state. Abuja is not a state. That was why they now have to say an Abuja. The word an Abuja is simply mean. And Abuja, a part of the states. Now, in one of the sections of the constitution, this is two, two or so, the court says that Abuja shall be redeemed to be a state. Is that the constitution? I don't know whether I have seen it. Abuja shall be redeemed to be a state. And if you look at section 41 of the constitution, it says that no citizen of Nigeria shall be discriminated against by virtue of where he's living. Now, if you are saying that those in Abuja, that they have higher voting power than those in other states, it means that you are discriminating against other states. Is it, not, is, it not, is, it not, is it not normal? So when you see people arguing what they don't know, I will, I will marvel. Okay, look at the issue of, uh, of uh, 10 years. The court said that, the, the, the constitution said that if you are a convicted person, that once it is more than 10 years, that conviction can no longer be used against you. Is that the constitution? Then the, 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 the law also said that, the law also said that uh, on the issue of, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, on the issue of, uh, uh, um, of uh, conviction, it must be offenses bordering on uh, 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 fraud or, 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 or dishonesty. How does uh, 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 carrying drug affect dishonesty of drug? That same drug is, is still a legal tender in some other countries. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So generally, there are so many areas I was still dealing with. We show that that judgment was not as bad as people think it is. All right, uh, Moses. Uh, talking about uh, 13 witnesses and about 10, about 10 of them, about 10 of them, they are on the you see, I was very, very much disappointed with the uh, Labour Party. Now, and before you lawyers. continue, if, three, if, if you have three overwhelming uh, witnesses, is it not enough to get a judgment? The whole country, to turn away to Go let, ahead. Let me tell you where I was so disappointed. That we have 1,700 and something three units. They're supposed to tie down. When you say there is a fight in Momo Grago, Units. We have over 170,000 police units. Uh -huh. And then you're bringing three witnesses. You see, <laughs> let me tell you, when the 20 hours, 20 hours and five, 500, uh, five minutes, it's uh -huh. not enough. It's very, very much enough. Why the judges took that time is so that those who are in our worship and in their area, who are claiming that we won. I'm obedient. I formed the Chobi movement in other state. But when the court was analyzing what the obedience brought in, in the 10 subpoenaed witnesses, I was disappointed. The most disappointing aspect is the guy from Amazon. Who claimed that there was a glitch, that there was no glitch? In the end, it was found out he was a member of a Labour Party and even contested election in Labour Party. And you have such a, an evidence. 
The court is saying that being a member of Labour Party, he ought to have come as, as a, a witness for Labour Party, Labour Party. And not for Amazon. Not which for ought Amazon. to be an, 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 an impartial observation. Are you, are you seeing that? I saw that when I said Kai. But the Supreme Court is going to just ask you a question. I'm sorry. Are you telling me that ten witnesses are on subpoena? Does it mean that the Labour Party did not bring their own witnesses to come and testify for them? Because subpoena means a witness of the court. Of the court. We and subpoena the court is saying you are not our witness because you are a member of. Okay, look at the Chinese woman. That one even got me angry. You are from Chinese. You conducted the interview. You are all the uh, drama on uh, video. Let, 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 let's conclude oh, the this at the end of that based on the question because we'll still come to that. In the end, the lady says, You are there on the film. You were the person that was showing you. Is it channels that brought you say she downloaded it from YouTube? Uh -uh. That's a rice TV. A rice TV. Yes. You are from YouTube. Does that mean it is a document made certified made by the maker mm -hmm. i need you to for you to bring a document it is the maker that should be supreme you are the person on television you say you brought it from youtube you see let me tell you where i am not agreeing with the tribunal there are issues there but when it is on the 10 subpoenaed witnesses, the tribunal is not saying that the P2B has no right to subpoena them. But the tribunal is saying that the quality of the people subpoenaed are Labour Party witnesses that ought to have been front loaded at the time Labour Party was making their, Including their, case, yes. their cases. Mm. That they are not witnesses of the court. So, the three that is left, my brother, I don't see how they are enough <laughs> to prove the case. To attend, or to attend the, the no, no, no. election of government presidency. Okay, comrade. Yes. Or just our, our destiny. Yes, I think. <laughs> no matter how we are me, are you agree with the lawyer? Uh, to be honest with you, I, I wasn't happy. When, because you know, I, I watched that. Uh, yes, I, I watched the whole session. And then, l let me say it here categorically. The court does not entertain the motion. That's what we want to call argumentative with the recording. You don't go to appeal to mercy. You don't go to appeal to mercy. You don't appeal. You understand? Seeking mercy or seeking a, 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 a pity party. No. What you do is to present your facts. And since it is evidence based, it depends on how you can gather your facts. You see, I wasn't happy when, because we, I, I, we were told a lot of things that uh, some agents use body-worn camera to capture all the, all the happenings as they were playing out. It required gradual, as in, the, uh, the breaking down of the whole popular centers. If you say there is massive reading or vote buying or voter suppression in a particular locality, for example, Lagos, you are supposed to tell us the number of people you need. And then, the, if you go a long way to reflect the number of railways that voters there, meaning that uh, if those, if that particular thing had not happened otherwise, you could have been declared winner, or you could, could, could have actually had more voters or something like that. But un unfortunately, um, those things were not done, and then uh, we are seeing. Um, <laughs> When, 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 when I, I heard that, if I, the, the first time I started fiating, if I may you, you use that word, when, when the 17 paragraphs, 17 paragraphs of the address, we are struck out, I said, wow. Yes, but I think there are also areas where I, 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 I have a question. Yes, especially yes. in areas where the, where the matter is not subjective, it should be objective. You understand? So that, that is where I am also having an. Um, uh, issues uh, because we usually say to this president if you have watched the ministerial screening one of the no 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 means who is to be who is to be minister fed all his papers and when he was yes when he was at the front of this assembly he said there was no law mandating him 
Ethiopia, which is the Jesus Pass. Do you know where that came from? It came from Bulari. Because it was the prayers of the Bulari Council that the Lord did not say he must pass. So they now said, attempt. If we have to have attempted or to have started the exam, is, is qualification enough? So that is how the judiciary should also be careful not to lower the bar. All right, uh, moving on. On the evidence of some of the experts who analyzed the results, the justice also holds that they were either members of the Labour Party. <laughs> okay. And we're talking about the experts. You see, that is actually what he was saying, and I agree with him. Those lawyers for the Labour Party, they really messed that case up. Forget about sentiment of our people. I will be able what he will be able. Those lawyers did not do a good job. They didn't do a good job. Let me tell you something. Why not? Why would Labour Party field people of subpoena? What they should have done is to field them. As before the election, Labour Party was parading everywhere that they were getting evidence. Bring those witnesses now, then that they will prove them, use them to you prove your case. Why are you going to bring witness of subpoena? A witness of subpoena is a witness of the courts. Which the court normally signs a summon authorizing you to come and testify. The Labour Party should have their own witnesses. And then, like the, what the court said. The court said that all these people that you said that are, are, are supposed to be on subpoena are not supposed to be on subpoena. They are your witnesses. They are members of the Labour Party. You need, you need to front load them in the time you are filing this case. That is simple elementary justice. They did it. Now you are bringing in the issue of uh, European Union. European Union. When, when did when did you when did we start using finance of European Union to, to win a case in Nigeria? If you are within a case, and that was the PDP. Eh? It was the PDP. It's the we PDP. Talked about the EU. Okay, EU. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying the general thing. Okay. If you if you want to win a case in the election tribunal, you bring your witnesses who saw what happened, who testified as to what happened. They will testify. Now, a European Union are mostly build their evidence based on what people say. Some of them, how many white men do you number? How many white men do you see in number when we're doing the election? Lot of what, evidence says, if that evidence is something is, of anything that is capable of being seen, is the person who it saw is it. the eye that saw. Yes, that's what they come and say, this is what I saw. Not somebody in a bat, uh, I read on Facebook, Facebook that uh, the president of the European Union will pick it up and say that uh, yes, one yes, yes, of them no, I, I, I think uh, we, have, we also have to be fair to the EU. They are a stakeholder in the election. Of the they trend our people. They trend people here on, on whose report they lie. The, the people cover the election for EU in Abaye. I'm telling you. No, I, I agree. I agree. But what I'm saying, what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is that despite the fact that, yes, some yeah. of them may be giving you direct evidence, mm -hmm. but the truth remains that. You cannot use a document of opinion of somebody in this kind of thing. Do not say something. If you tell a certificate, you are concerned on that certificate. If a medical doctor comes and says, this is what killed this person, and tell that autopsy, I have a right to consider me the medical doctor who made that autopsy. If you bring autopsy, cause of death is a hormonal imbalance, and the doctor is not there, I will tell my lord, my lord, where is the one who made this thing? He's not there. The court will throw it away. The reason is that if you, if European Union, Makes a statement in their reports. In the report, yeah. The person who made a statement also you come. You come. Let me consider him on it. Ask European Union to bring that person. That's a person. That is what the law says. I'm telling you the truth. You cannot just because the European Union said that the nation was if you are not fair, fair. You agree. No. You call him. Okay. What's your name? My name is Mr. Winston Hodoff. Mr. Winston Hodoff. What are you from? I'm from Amsterdam. Okay. Were you were you there in the nation? Yes, I was there. What did you observe? You say you will not consider him. Then Mr. Mr. Hodoff will be that in, in, in London and write something and you expect the court to... That may not to, even exist. That may not even exist. See, this, this is law. This is law. But they would, the man in Abba, the man in Abba would be lambasting the court, lambasting judges, lambasting lawyers. Right. Lawyers have become the, uh, the, the, the new new plea now, saying that we are useless, we are this. When uh, a man who loses a case, you always blame your lawyer. But when you win a case, your lawyer will, the judge will be the, the best thing. The thing about it is that those lawyers do a very, very shoddy job. And you know what's the thing? Propaganda was too much. We don't do respect to the obedience. Propaganda was too much. The propaganda was too... You know what I'm saying? Yes. They would, these are the judges, these are the lawyers to concentrate on the cases. They were there giving them false hope and giving propaganda. You will tell me the issue of a, a, a certificate, a lot of certificates. The school, the school, you know, you know what you call it, you know, you know, uh, um, Chicago State University, brought documents that this man is our student. Hold your temperature. If they say the person was a female, does she live? Is she dead? Call her now. Oh, I'll bring evidence. The bowler about the Tinubu that is a female. 
She come. That is living. And there are there are She call you the Just Bring her. Bring her. Let's see her. You didn't. And you are, and the school. The worst part. Let me tell you the truth. I am from Absu. Absu give me certificate. If you are denying that I didn't go, I will bring a certificate and show to you. Yes, and if Absu ever say we know a parent. Emperor was a student, he left school in 1999. That's, that's, right. that's, that's, that's all. The end of that's the end of it. And that was what Chicago State University did. But you know the evidence, they will come and start looking for evidence, evidence. It's good. But those evidence are looking. Were they pleaded? Did they come to court? You think that the court will open Naraland? The court will open Facebook. Eh, uh, Justice, uh, why, why, no, why are Please, can you go and check the Facebook post of Samosis? Look at what he wrote there. That is what we are going to use in doing our judgment. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the one he posted to me, and I said, I said, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it now. Said it, said okay, I'll see the one that uh, they have gone to India. In India, they have India. India. Yeah, so said, what just in the day? $7 billion. Dollar. What just in the day? That's what he does. One I remember, I don't know where he gets it. Please don't believe that one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, um, uh, Comrade, let me also come to you. Yes. Now, talking about um, these witnesses, why they were not, you know, uh, admitted there is because they were not members of the. Labour Party. No, we need the, the legal expansion. No, because the Labour Party had these witnesses before they pleaded whatever they did. They didn't plead them. You see, the, 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 the evidence law is that he who has us must prove. And that's what they, what, 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 what they call an honest proof. And there's an, the, the burden of proof. Okay. The burden of proof. You must prove. Um, it is not even that you that you have a bad case or, or that you don't have a bad case, but the articulation of your case can actually be problematic to the extent that it may mar the outcome, a favorable outcome to your own side. You, you, you understand. Even as we are interacting now, I'm also learning some things. But I, I have to say this: is a, it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. I know when. When um, uh, Buhari ran for 2003, I know one, one of the persons that went there as witnesses, they were carried from here in other states. I, I know some of the persons. And they were members of the ANPP then. I know that, but I, I know them. And, 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 and they kept the court they survived? Yes. So if, if now you are bringing someone from Amazon without even that, that person being a, a witness, you, you understand? To Not a member of Amazon. Amazon. Of Amazon, it is also an, an, an problem because the technicality and legalists will have a way they influence the outcome. You understand? Because if you look at all these things, you will see that when they are pleading cases or when they are the, 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 making arguments and counter argument, everything, including the this and was, is subject to verification. So it depends on how you make your presentation and then the evidence you are able to tender before the court. All right, our wonderful viewers, we're going to go on a very short break. When we come back, issues of the moment will continue. Don't go away. And I'm sure you are listening to this analysis. You know, so many of us were so annoyed, so perplexed at that judgment. But it is important. You know, when you are not there, it will be difficult to understand this. So when we come back, we'll continue. Don't go away. Living Television Tele Trade Fee. This is the way the Living Television is giving back to the society, subsidizing the advertising rate. You can advertise on Living Television Tele Trade Fee. With a subsidized rate, it is no more business as usual, but this time the thing is cut down. You can come to Living Television for all forms of your adverts, and it is very, very cheap. This is the way we are giving back to the society leaving tele trade fair we had number one judge street opposite Zema police station in yimba city here in aba come to living tele trade fair or we can as well visit your marketplace or your trading place to ensure that the world will know where you are and what you do And so you can keep on watching Living TV. Uh, I can say in Pigeon English. Living TV. Living TV. Bringing the word.
Wonderful viewers and fans of Living TV, I am glad you are still there watching the analysis of the presidential election petition court, the verdict. That's what we are looking at. And I'm sure so, so far, so far, so good. For those of you who we are so annoyed with the lawyers and the court, I'm sure you're beginning to look at things from a different perspective with analysis of our analysts in the house. And having said that, on moving on, one of the ones that uh, so much affected, so, so many persons talked about was uh, the report from the Arise TV. The judge ruled that the reporter admitted during cross-examination that she downloaded the interview of the chairman of INEC from YouTube, hence a secondary evidence which is not admissible to. Now, the question there, let me also start with you, uh, 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 Barista Imperu. The question there is, even if it is downloaded and it is a fact, is it the fact that they are looking at or the person that is giving the evidence because it was dismissed, because it was not directly from her? She wasn't an eyewitness directly. Yeah, you see, uh, there is a way law on the evidence of law goes through. Now, in YouTube, YouTube is like TikTok. You can take a video and you cut and join. You cut and join. As soon as I said, I am not a criminal. You have said me, you heard me prove I am not a criminal. When you did it, you will now remove the word dot not. What you hear people say, I am a criminal. <laughs> you see, yes, you now understand what I'm saying? That is how these things work. YouTube, TikTok, all these things are social media issues. Which somebody can stay in his house and edit. And then now, if you are tendering video evidence. You have to tender the original recording. Just remember, as that CD is the original recording, you tender it and you play. That's what you play. You don't play the doctor, the video, you don't play the edited, edited, because by editing you can add something. So, how can somebody of Arise TV, what the person would have done is to bring the original tape from Arise TV and say, it, and it must be the person that recorded it. It's the person that recorded it. That's what the law says. So. That cameraman that recorded it, the man that brought it, said, I am Mr. Sheikh Mushayim. I recorded. Uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, Yakubu, when he was saying that election shall be done through transfer, uh, transmission, transmission and transmission shall be done through electronic means. And this is the camera probably they are using the continent. This is the video step, they not tender it. And then they play the distance, and you are the one who did it. And if you cannot tender it yourself, you will give evidence as to why you are not tendering it. Assuming I am no longer alive, or maybe I am beyond the seas, or I am sick, or it will cost a lot of problem to bring me. Namde, who is working with me? And that was there. And that was, uh, yes, Namde, who is working with me? The rule of the rule in Kate's enterprises and the, the, wood, the wood television, the wood motors. The court held that it is not compulsory that documents have been tendered by me. I can be tendered by somebody who is working with me. Who so was there? who was there? So Namde can now bring it and say, Emperor was the one who, did that, who made this statement, but he's not around. I am the one. And he will not lay what you call in law, evidential foundation. Not so. You will not need the foundation and you will not tender it. You cannot go to YouTube mm. and download if you are YouTube and tender it. YouTube video. Say you are not the one that did it, that, that evidence. You see, honestly, I wish that the whole about is hearing what I'm saying. The truth about it is that there is no way Labour Party would have won that case. It's impossible. Why would I have done? They didn't show over voting. They didn't prove the issue of conviction. Okay, look at the law. The law says that if you are convicted. Once it is more than 10 years of your conviction, that evidence can no longer be used against you. That is the law. Is that the constitution? Yet they are there making noise that Tinibu went to prison. Tinibu was forfeited money that he's convicted. Two, the court said he was convicted of a criminal offense. Now the question is you are lying of forfeiture that he forfeited something. Now let me ask you this question. Let me just give you a scenario. Assuming me and Nandi, me and Nandi, we are partners in, 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 in smuggling heroin. And I gave Pat Nandi uh, heroin. Or Nandi gave me heroin to smuggle. And I didn't smuggle it. And then, or I gave him to smuggle, he didn't smuggle it. And I sued him. Nandi now raised objection that the contract is an illegal contract. Remember, the court said, Nandi raised an objection that the contract is an illegal contract. And by the face of the KOK and Oniki, it's un unenforceable. You know what the court will do? The court will say, Emperor, is it true that you are smuggling heroin? The court will order me to fulfill that heroin. That is yeah. what forfeiture is. You know what I'm saying? Yes. The court will order me, Emperor, this is an illegal contract. You are not supposed to have heroin. Or you are, or you, or the court will say, you use the heroin money to, to, to build this house. 
So forfeit the house. To forfeit the house to the government. Or else, we will arrest you. Remember, there is nobody prosecuting me. There is nobody prosecuting the emperor. Nobody caught him. Nobody caught him. But because of the circumstances of the world, they will get the money caught to say forfeit it. Now the question is, was Balati Ribu charged to court? Was he arrested? Was he charged to court? Was there a trial? Was he found guilty? This is what you have to establish for you to disqualify somebody on a criminal offense. You don't just use for future. <laughs> I don't know why this is for law, but that is what the law says. You don't just use for future and say, just because I see you, you fulfill something, is there. Three, that court in Illinois was a civil court. That court is in Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. It's an Illinois civil court. Can a civil court find somebody guilty? No. Let me tell you. Let me give you an example. On a criminal matter. No. Let me, let me give you an instance. Assuming I'm a, as a lawyer, I'm doing a case. The, law, the judge says something. I say, my lord, my lord, what you said is not right, my lord. I don't know why but the court is going to Emperor, why are you talking to me like that? I hereby, I hereby I arrest you. I hereby remind you in prison custody for not for, for contempt, offense, so for contempt of challenging court. him. And I go to prison. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow you now start saying that emperor, emperor is a convict. I'm not a convict. It's not. It is. This is a civil matter. When do you actually talk to me to? <laughs> will you say I went to? Oh, I'll be to prison. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is a civil matter upon which the courts summarily send me to prison for contempt of court. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that at a civil court. So if you are claiming that Bolati Nibu was charged for a criminal offense and convicted, bring evidence. You don't just use for future alone. That is what I want to do. So they 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 they, they were they were the Labour Party was more like a, a, a mob 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 action sensationalism. They were listening to the crowd. Crowd. This of course looking at the law. Law. So many areas of the law that they did not comply with. All right, I want to you at the phone line is now open. You can call us on 091-682-84994. I'll take it again, 091-682-84994. You can call us, make your contributions, and also maybe ask a question where you are not too clear with this uh, analysis and explanations. All right, there, there's something you mentioned here, but, it's never, uh, but, yeah. but I'm, I'm coming to you, St. Moses. Now, talking about going to court, because this is what ordinarily the layman will not understand. So when a man goes to prison, he's not seen as an ex-convict when it is not criminal. Because you just talked about content of court. You just talked about content of the court. The court can, you can be a detainee. <laughs> I was in prison myself. <coughs> I was in prison myself. I was even in DSS custody. <coughs> So we are dealing with prisoners here. So, well, you that if you're a human rights activist, you must be ready for this kind of thing. Nelson Mandela was in prison for seven years. Buhari was in prison. Buhari was in prison for three years. Yes. Obama Sajjah was in prison for five years. Nelson yes. Mandela was in prison for 27 years. Yes. Which Nigerian, who, is now, who has ever been in prison? If you bother to live, we were all in prison during the, the second time. Uh, uh, Femi Falana was in prison. Uh, Ghanifa was in prison. Every, he was in prison. So, being in prison does not make you Hello. 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 Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon. This is Living TV Issues of the Moment. Yes. Am I also Living TV uh, Living Radio? Yes. Exactly. Your name and where you're calling us from. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I greet my very good friend uh, Namdi Elefashi. Um, he knows me very well. This is Mr. Ustika Ubu. Plus, I greet you, sir. Thank you so much, Osita. Yes, uh, I want to uh, an observation here okay. about uh, the arguments and uh, what the two lawyers are trying to explain to the, our listeners or people that are listening to you. Okay. I would suggest, before I make my submission, that uh, I think that anything pertaining to this kind of issue, I think that there is a neutral person should be brought to discuss about that. I don't like now the refer to the neutral person which we know all of us to. Well, looking at the news, I know by the news is very well. I know him very, very well. And uh, so I know him very well. So they are all, um, I think, uh, partially uh, PDP, uh, uh, they are partisan person. So, <laughs> next time, such people should be brought as a neutral person, not people that are, that come to another party. Then, and that's my answer. I want to ask uh, by the statement, what will you say about the precise percent of, uh, uh, of votes gotten from uh, SPP? Is it also one of those that the uh, Labour Party did not get well? 
the instrument qualified to contest or to be the president of Nigeria, whereby he did not get to five percent of SPT. Or SPT is it like a state as an Asia? So does it mean that SPT doesn't have that recognition as SPT again? I want you to say to me and also Mr. Thank you, sir. All right, uh, but let, let, let me just say this. Let me see. He made an accusation to me, sir. Um, your name is uh, uh, Osita, or what? Uh, my brother, I am not partisan. God knows I am not. I was on Enyimba FM yesterday. I had a one hour, 30 minutes program with them on this issue. I was on Real FM two days ago, and I have always been anybody who knows Emperor knows I'll tell the truth. I am not partisan. I voted for Peter B, and I campaigned for him. I voted for him, and I campaigned for him. I didn't, uh, my party, why did we have a candidate? But I voted for Peter B. But the truth, sir, you don't like people here telling the truth. The truth is that that case was a bad case. I am a lawyer. I did two cases for Labour Party in Imo State, and I won them. I won them for them. So telling that Emperor is partisan because I'm saying that your party did not do a good job on the election tribunal is very unfortunate. The lawyers to the party. Yeah? The lawyers to the party. The lawyers to the party did not do a good job. Yes, no, the lawyers to the party did not do a good job. Every lawyer, I, I, I read the pleading. Pleading. I read the statement, I read the video. So saying that I am partisan is very unfavorable to me. If you want me to start praising the judgment, when I know that that judgment was sound, the area the judgment was sound and is backed by law. And not only that, everything I am saying here, I have said it even before now. Now the very witness that I have discussed about this things with you, and I told you that this is the areas upon which the court would rule against labor, and it happened. If you remember, I discussed this thing yeah. with you. Yes. Yes. So, so what I told you Namde was what the courts did before the judgment came. I had already reviewed it on Magic FM, I had already reviewed it in, in Real FM and in Anybody FM, and everything I said, even on my Facebook wall, everything I said was what the court repeated. So saying that I was partisan is very unfair to me. Thank you. All right, I think, well, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I was partisan too. He is a member of my PP. You see, at the time this, Issues were going on. Yes. During the electionary period, I was PDP. But immediately after the election, I resigned from partisan politics. Partisan but you are partisan now. So, <laughs> so, 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 so somebody will agree with you. We are now discussing these issues because we are Nigerians. Yes. Yeah. You see, 25 percent uh, scoring 25 percent in Nigeria is not if you lose everywhere. And they scored 25% in the region. Therefore, they should be president. president. Or, 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 or you win or you win that six states yeah. and you didn't win to focus on budget. That means you will not be you will not be, the, be what, what kind of law is that? <laughs> As you mean it will be won the whole that six states. And, and, won, and in Abuja he did not win. You are, you are telling me that you will not be sworn in. Does that make sense to you? No. My, uh, I hope you don't mind. Let me just explain this thing. <laughs> My brother, I know you are listening. Let me just explain this thing to you once and for all. Nigerian law, the constitution is a whole document. You don't pick up one section of the constitution or one section of the law and interpret it in isolation of the other. We call it a living document. That's what we studied in the law school. There are some rules of interpretation. We have the literal rule. We have the edges, the generous rule. We have the mischief rule. And we have other interpretations. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Now, if you are interpreting it literally, it may mean that you must win. Yes. But every lawyer knows that literal rules, rule of interpretation is no. not the only interpretation. Okay, okay, okay. And that it is the weakest, is the weakest, very, very weak. weakest rule of interpretation. Because it can lead to manifest absurdity. Yes. What do I mean by manifest absurdity? I mean, you should give me money for teaching you law. What do I mean by manifest absurdity? If the literal interpretation will lead to Injustice or absurdity. The court will now look at the mischief. The mischief what is the which mischief is which, which it tries to cure? What is the mischief that every part of Nigeria should have a part when it comes to producing a president? So that not only Northerners will stay in their house and vote somebody. The law now says to, to, uh, to a five percent of two test states. North don't have to death. West don't have to death. South don't have to death. So for a, a president to come out. There must be a synergy between all the sessions of Nigeria. Nigeria. That is the mischief the law wanted to cure. Now, in this circumstance now, if you interpret it shall as you think, it may not mean that to 5% of Abuja. But the mischief 
is that we want everybody to be there. So the, you now look at the constitution based on other sections too. You now look at the section that says for the purpose of administration that Abuja shall be regarded as one of the states. That section is there. That Abuja should be regarded as one of the states. Then you also look at section 41. That section says that no Nigerian should be discriminated against by virtue of where he lives, by his sex, by anything. Now, if you are saying that those in Abuja must, you must win to fight in Abuja, it means that during the election, what all I need to do is, is to win is to take all my people from me. I will take them to Abuja and they will vote for me to five percent and I will win. And the, the North will not vote for me, West will not vote for me. You understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is that that interpretation is will lead to absurdity, will lead to injustice, would lead to problems. No court can interpret that section as you're thinking. The way to interpret it is to, to know that that section is a part of the state. That Abuja, the way they said, Tatsi states and Abuja. Abuja is not the state. So the court said and Abuja to show you that Abuja is a part of the state. So in some, in some ways, sir, the interpretation, that was why the court lambasted the lawyers, if you understand. The court said that what the lawyers were saying was ridiculous. And the, the court said they couldn't believe their ears. Because no lawyer, what he thought, can make that argument that you must win to focus on Abuja. That is because in Abuja people are not special. They are not special from uh, they are just like every other Nigerian. So I think I've explained this to you. Thank you. But, but uh, before, what, what I want to reply to him is this. The court did not say, or the law did not say, you must win Abuja like you say. You must be winning, 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 winning. And Abuja. Did the people be winning? winning, winning, winning? I, I, I think they didn't say winning, I would just say 25%. Oh, 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 the 25% will be in addition to Abuja. Abuja. Look at what, let's look at what to say. Yeah. Okay. I want to say. Let me just explain it now. 36 states in Nigeria, you know so? Yeah, Abuja is 37 states. Yeah, states. states. You now divide 37 by, by whatever it is, whatever it will give you. It's telling you that you must have two thirds of 37 states. That is a simple oh, thing. You must you have those words. The court is saying, you did not tell us the number of states you want to include Abuja. P2P did not say, these are the number of votes I have in so, 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 so place to mean to touch of. I think there's also something to do. Before you can add mm. Abuja, mm. there was be votes you won. I think Bola I think he won 24 states. I think he was able to get this required. Yes. 24, which is also to death. But the problem is this are we going to reduce Abuja mathematically? Because if we are looking at it, You'll be talking about maybe if you are adding Abuja to, to, to be 37, you'll be talking about 24.6, which we, we, is not possible. I think it happened in 1978, in the time of Awolo. Hey, yeah, yeah. When we had the of 90 states. Is, is Awo, Awo, I, I'm coming. Awo, Awo's contest was that Shehu Shagari won 12. You understand? Then mathematically, on approximation, it is supposed to be 12.6 that will give you to 10 of 19. Which means if you are bringing it to whole number, 0.6 is a whole number already, meaning it should be 13. You understand what I'm saying? So, and, 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 and then being that this is an unheard of thing, but it is fine, it is happening. It has never happened before. See my that wife, wife one so even Buhari, when they took Buhari's case to, to the court too, the court said Buhari was able to win 25% of the vote cast in Abuja, even though he did not win. But I think, like I said before, all this will, will depend on the manner of, manner of presentation and the argument. And that was why, I, I, I said I would have loved to have watched a televised proceeding. You understand? Okay, you can, you can read, okay. you can read them online. All right. Um, <clears throat> with what is happening, because uh, this area trashed out now, I think it's very but, I, but I hope you understand what yes, I said. Yes, it's very, very important because uh, even before the judgment, a lot of people have preempted the the court, the uh, presidential election petition <laughs> court. Yes. And the word they and and this. And the and word every and. other one. And it's the one so, that people are talking about. Some of whether it's conjunction. Uh, whether it's disjunctive or conjunctive. And I'm saying that that word and it means that there's Abuja and there's seven states. And you don't put them together. You get that seven. You're not dividing whatever it is. There's, there, there is always a calculation that can be done. No, the, the, I think the commonest explanation made here is that, that you didn't win all the 36 days and win 25% in average. It's not enough to make you... Make you. I think that is the... Uh, yes, that's uh, 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 that, uh, that, uh, that, if you want, 
Are you dealing with Abuja? You will still be declared the winner. Once you, you have got to that state, if they have to rely on the court, yes, even if you have to rely on the Nubu God, because they were rigging a so 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 place, his figure was influenced. A so 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 place, his figure was influenced. Therefore, the winning, so called winning, as declared by INEC, as declared by INEC, is not. That is what they should have done. They didn't do they that. Did it. They were just capitalizing on 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 five percent frivolities because they had five percent. I, 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 I want to I, say something. Even if, even if the 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 the, 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 the position of the law is that uh, someone must also win to five percent in FCT. The question is, somebody like Peter will be going by what I actually announced, which. Is subject to which which we are totally contending. Now, does it even at you? You understand? Does that qualify them to become president? When you didn't win twenty four states, it didn't qualify. If it to be, to be, be, to be, be the same way you won. Yes, I brought figures that you won. That you won. Stated in the states that you won, and it was clear. The Amazon man did not even come to say P to be won. So, so he said there was no glitch. If there was no glitch, what to result as an Amazon? The you bring that made Peter be win in so 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 areas, including Abuja? Uh, suppose you are even let me just guide you on what area. See, Peter B's issue was not that he is he won the election. His argument was that the election was marked by irregularities, irregularities. and that and that and that. Uh, that we, and that declaration of Tinubu as the president is improper. That he didn't score the maximum, the, the minimum vote required by law, and that the election should be cancelled on all those areas, and that there should be a, a runoff. That is the summary of Peter B's case. Now the question is, if you had, if you had looked at the whole thing, and Peter B won 25 percent in Abuja, did he say he won 25 percent of total state? He never says so. He never says so. That's he why he tell us where those irregularities. Yes, um, that, that is even where they are. They can't say that you don't uh, just come and as I, I've explained this thing now. Yeah. You don't just come and make it's it. It's not make it's it not it you, 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 Let me tell you what what the, what the Labour Party people did. They just used the psychology of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. But the case, mm -hmm. uh, judges, please tell APC to come and tell us how they won. You, you understand me? Yes. Tell APC to come and tell us how they won. You don't expect your enemy or your opponent to give evidence in your favor. The point, the law is that he who he who alleges should prove. So let me tell you, if your opponent refuses to bring any evidence, what you will do is to bring your own evidence to prove it. Because it is true. You give right. it All right, gentlemen. Before, because of our time, there is a, also a point to mention here because uh, we are going to use it because almost the same thing that uh, struck uh, of this case was almost the same thing that struck the PDP articles get petitions yes. out. Now, there is something you uh, talked about here because both PDP and, uh, and the Labour Party also made the same assertion about the anti criminal record. Though the, the court said that they failed to prove in the criminal record of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu. And now, from your explanation of that for future, yes. The argument had been even before now. That is why it is important. You clear the air okay. uh, as lawyer. Okay, let me let me explain it now. APC, that for APC has nothing to do with a man. I, I'm coming. Let me let me deal let me deal with, the, me deal with that criminal issue. Yeah, let me yeah. do it because I took time. I am I am a man who is always on radio and television, and I am sure every time I want anything I want to say, I know that there are millions of people listening to me, and that I have to defend myself on what I'm saying. First of all, the DSS wrote to American government. Asking them whether there's any criminal record of Bola Tinibu being convicted of any offense. American government responded, FBI, that they don't have any record of anybody with that name having convicted any offense. Thereafter, thereafter, this issue of uh, forfeiture came up. Now, look at what the court, look at what the court said. The court said that. You know, FFK said something about that day, and a lot of people we are even lambasted. Him. Yeah, well, yes, you know that's how the Nigeria. That's the, as I'm talking to you now. You saw what this man is already saying. They are already looking at emperor as emperor. I, I am a lawyer. I say my I, whatever I do, I do it based on what I believe is the right thing. I don't care. One, one person, one, one people take. I'm not. I'm not a politician. I don't even see myself contest election again. I don't even know what I contest again. I am a strictly a lawyer and human activist. It has totally went yes, yes. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that listen. Is that the court was what, what the court look at what the court said? Yeah. The court said one 
that from the evidence they have that American government has already said this man is not a convict. Two, that the court that found him guilty, I mean the court that handled the case was a, a, civil, the, court. a civil court in Illinois. Okay. A civil court in Illinois. Three, that there is no evidence that Bola Tidibu was arrested, was charged to court, was tried and convicted and put by forfeited. That forfeiture can be both civil and criminal. There is no doubt about that. And I'll explain to you what forfeiture is. That forfeiture can be civil. Assuming there's an illegal contract, the court said forfeit this thing. America does not act like us. We are looking at our jurisprudence, our jurisprudence is very, very nice compared to American own. In America, there are so many things you do. I was in America, I was in New York in a, in a swimming pool. I with my friend there, Obi. We were swimming. A girl, a woman came in. I was looking at this beautiful woman. My Obi told me, Emperor, stop looking at this woman, though, that very soon the woman will call police for you and say that you are sexually harassing her. I said, sexually harassing somebody who is at the other end of the pool swimming. I, I told him I'm not swimming again. I have to carry my clothes. I was in middle town. I took my clothes and went back. But in Nigeria, will a policeman arrest you for looking at a woman? No. But in America, it's a crime. <laughs> so, I don't, <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So, you don't look at American jurisprudence like our own. Their own is more tighter. That's why someone like you. And even while the proceeding was going, mm. Atiku withdrew this matter in yeah. that court. Mm. And they're still pursuing it in another in court. Another court. The court here, the tribunal here, will not be looking at what Atiko is pursuing. That is not before them. Before them. And that matter has been dealt with. So, what about that goes to the one in America? So, what I'm just saying is that the court's analysis of that thing was correct. Correct. Yeah. Let them show us the charge sheet. Let them show us the, the criminal process, the pro proceeding, showing that this man was convicted. You don't just bring in for future alone. And want to disqualify somebody. I, I know that at uh, Thiribu's, me personally, I want Peter B to be there. But I want us to stop lambasting the judiciary. The one I disagree with them is on membership. I disagree with the tribunal on that membership. Whether Atiku uh, uh, Obi was a member of the Labour Party, whether he was sponsored by the Labour Party. The judgment of the court, I disagree on that. The court said that he was a member. The court says that the, it is the party that determines who is their member. Alright? Mm -hmm. but, but, but to me, to me as a lawyer, yes, we thank God for that area. But for the purpose of jurisprudence, if you look at the law, the law says that for you to be admitted, for you to participate in the election, you must have be sponsored by a political party. Good. Now, section 77 says that every political party should, within 30 days, before 30 days of its primary congress or conference, submit a soft copy or a hard copy of its membership register to, to INEC. INEC. Now, election was conducted. You submitted a list of members. Your name is not there. My brother, let me be honest to you. Let me be honest to you. If I'm the judge, my ruling would be that anybody whose name is not on that is not sponsored by that party. party. That is where that is, yeah. that, is, that is that is what the law ought to be. That's what the but law let me tell you what let me tell you what happened there. The courts did not want to disqualify to be. They wanted on to that. On, on, on that. They wanted to, I, I think, think they have to given be. a seminar ruling on the issue on the one of the vice president about this membership of a thing. Where they also told the plaintiff that it is an internal affair of the party. And that's why they say it's only the party that can tell who its members are. Then for, for you, even Emperor had done this that before. If, if you, you must challenge this, you must have been someone who look either participated in the primary. Yes, I said it now. Either you participated in the primary or you are a member of the party. No, no, no. The court is right on Shetima. Let me tell you why I feel they are right. Mm -hmm. They are saying that it is the presidential candidate that has the prerogative of determining who becomes his vice. vice. It is not the party. And that, and that yeah, is what, that and that what is an election. That is what is happening, uh, Jasper, Jasper, Jasper Uche, in other states. You know, you know that is a, uh, you know the former guy, Igwe, 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 when this guy died, when uh, Uche died, Good. Uh, 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 they brought in, they brought in, they brought in Ahiwe, Ahiwe said he doesn't, he doesn't want to work with, uh, Good. Uh, okay, Igwe, Ahiwe now took Jasper. They went to court. Last week, they got up a few that the moment you are no longer a bad candidate, that your vice president or vice chairman or vice deputy goes with you. With you? That is how Jasper 
it's and now, it is you it's that is now, now the, to who the vice president. It's now the deputy governor for, 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 for. You don't for, need for, an election for a vice presidential candidate, nor do you need such an election for a vice guba, a, a deputy guba candidate. That is different. The law says for you to, you have an inalienable right to vote and be voted for. And any section of the constitution that makes uh, any law valid limit by any body that violates this section of the constitution to the extent of the conflict is no longer. So you have a right to vote and be voted for. The same constitution says for this right to be, you must be sponsored by a political party. All right. What amounts to being sponsored by a political party is now in the electoral. I think that is why we. Okay. Don't, yes, uh, yes, no, no. It, it's important to make this intervention. You see, each time we talk about technicalities, I am aware that the constitution sets standard for one to become the president of the country. One, he must be a citizen of Nigeria. Two, he must attend a certain age. Three, he must not. In fact, he must pay taxes up to a certain amount. No, 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 tax is not there. Tax has been removed. Tax is not there. Yes. There is no now, 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 he must be a citizen of Nigeria. Yes. You understand? Then the issue now about... Was, then they said he must be someone who does not have proven uh, crime, past record of crime. Now, I think, not just, 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 just like they are saying, they have a good case, whether or not this... Um, uh, the, whether or not any of the thing had been actually um, uh, uh, breached, but it depends on presentation. And then my own issue now is that this matter has not ended; it will still go to the Supreme Court. All right, uh, to the Supreme Court. Uh, wonderful viewers, because of our time, we are uh, we are going to have a lot of just about uh, 30, 30 seconds to each of our analysts to. Uh, to give the, give us their parting words concerning this uh, this uh, judgment verdict on uh, PDP and Labour Party, that of the Allied uh, People's uh, Movement, is concluded. That what we started with, and right now we are going to look at it. I'm going to start with you, Sir Moses Obona, before we leave this studio. What's your final take on this? Verdict? My final take is that uh, I give mean fifty fifty percent to the tribunal uh, decision. In some areas, they were right. In some other areas, they are very, very contentious. Especially in the area of uh, whether you are being sponsored by a party. That area, once you, I believe, as a lawyer, that once you are named, it's not contained in mm -hmm. the register mm -hmm. of the party. And I, the, I submitted to I think push to that election. You are not sponsored. That's why you remember one of the senatorial candidates in Abia Center. When I make a published and said Labour did not sponsor any candidate in Abia Center. That person went to court and the court gave I make order to include that person's name. It is called order they were supposed to have obeyed. Not that that person was sponsored by, by the, political, by the party. political party. In that area, Supreme Court ought to look into it again. Okay, uh, uh, Barrister Epel. Yes, um, well, unfortunately, I really wanted um, P2B to become the president, but when I read, when I went online and, and I read the, the pleading, I read the pleading, I read the petition, I was discouraged. Um, I, will, I, I will advise parties, uh, please, before you do any case, make sure that you get lawyers who are very, very fast in election matters. Who are politicians. In election, in election matters. Yes. You may be a good lawyer, but you're not very, very well fast. You look at uh, this guy, Lani Beko, what? although we have some scandal in him, but he keeps winning some of his cases. We have been doing election matters. When you get lawyers who are into into a particular area, you are don't just get lawyers and sensational because you, you want people you know this and no. Get people who are into this thing. There are some lawyers who are very good at that. It will really help us because most mistakes that you are done, we are done by the by the lawyers in the proceeding. But, but all these lawyers we all sons. No, it doesn't work like that. No. You may be a son. Okay, let me let me tell them that thing. Let me tell them that thing. The issue and also 
when you have also during the election, start from the first day to start planning. Look at the issue of agency. When I saw the number of agents PDP had, it was on the newspaper. Agent PDP had, APC had, the Labour, Labour Party had the lowest makeup of the three of them. And now it's, it's affecting them now. Because if you don't have an agent in Damatru, how can you tell the results from Damatru? If you don't have an agent in, in, in Zamfara, how can you tell the results of Zamfara? And that was what happened. They now relied on INEC to produce the results. INEC, knowing their, knowing their disability, refused to produce the results. And that is why. And, the, and if you are asking for evidence and the evidence is not forthcoming, the courts cannot rule on, on you know, inexistent evidence. So you see that the Labour Party is still trying to grow. But to me, I, I really want them to be the third force. But they should also try to, some of these mistakes that were made, let them correct it so that they can have it. It was force. wrong for the court to rule that not being sponsored by a political party is an internal affair. So the political, it was very, very wrong. Oh, you, you, you've said that before. Okay, yeah, yeah. Com uh, comrade. Okay. You know, well, I, I, I think, especially in some of these, dear, please, I had expected, a lot of people, Nigerians, had expected that. The much uh, noise made about concerning River State, yeah, yes. that the, the party, Labour Party, had enough evidence. Enough, enough evidence that, yes. But nothing was. They didn't even. They didn't even. When they had, they were the, 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 You know, that's the problem. Sorry, it was more like propaganda. The, the, I don't want to attack anybody, but it appears that the BDM movement was more like a propaganda machinery, and that is not try hard to run the country. It was a mass because movement. what it was a mass movement, eh? Mass movement. Yeah, mass movement of propaganda and everything. Let me explain this. You know, it's, uh, you see, even in this issue of all eyes on the judiciary, I was on a television of a radio program. They were asking me about it. Nothing wrong with all eyes on the judiciary, but when you start attaching it to a particular party. You write for the big board, all I do sure that you write the right under it to be it or labor or anything. It is it is it is intimidation. We are lawyers know it. And you're like Mr. Moses is a lawyer, I'm a lawyer. Mm. We did a case before just say maybe just a CK one for all of a sudden I walk on CK one on the phone. My lord, <coughs> if you don't deliver judgment in my favor, I will deal with the children. Mm. Is you just me? Is that not intimidation of judges? Yeah. When I do a case with Mr. Moses, I will go home and rest. I have a judge to determine who wins or not. For me to now say, I all as a dream, and I will start showing that. Not an NGO. Not an NGO. Labor, a labor, a labor. And, the, and their members. Uh -uh. And their members. That's all right, all right, uh, comrade. Yes, thank you so much. I think um, uh, it's a democracy. And then the way Emperor and the uh, Saint had actually done this analysis, I love the review of the analysis. Well, no, yeah. But it's not final yet. Oh, yeah. Even their own review is subject to what the Supreme Court yes. will say. Yes. You understand? And that is why it's also important. Uh, people remain calm, uh, calm, peaceful, and law abiding till we get to hear the final thing. But then, to me, I think um, uh, um, if you say something exists, you give it a name. It's not just enough to talk about something, but it's enough to prove the existence of that. Then again, um, in the area of uh, of uh, uh, those, 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 like they try to say about uh, court, uh, bullying of uh, justices, cyber bullying, cyber stalking. In the era, we are in, a, in an era of a cancel culture where people are cancelling people, cancellation. They are beginning to, and it's unfortunate, it's not welcome. But I think also, like I said before, judiciary, and it's my personal opinion, they have for too long lowered the bar of justice. They must live up to expectation. And that's why you are beginning to see all those sentiments beginning to appear. Even people who are, who are even innocent and are not beginning to suffer the consequences because people no longer have confidence in them. There is, there is serious confidence that. All right. Uh, no, sorry, sorry. Please, sir. Please, for the purpose of our listeners, mm. there is this area he mentioned now, judiciary. Mm. Now, judiciaries are law interpreters. Now, the area he's talking about is the issue of IRF. That's where everybody's angry. That the court said that man would say. Yes, we I'm you, you didn't yes. talk about that. Man, man would say that the elections have been transmitted electronically. electronically. And, but at the, the end, the court said that there is no. Let me tell you something. There's no it, law, it is. It is. The lawmakers that you blame are not the lawyers, not the judges. And the I'm lawmakers sorry. are INEC now. The, the law, no, no, no. The lawmakers are INEC. Who you voted? Who you voted? You I'm voted the electoral act. act. The le look at what they did. Look at what. Yes. I will tell you why it is. Wait now, now, wait now. Mm -hmm. The lawmaker, the law is that uh -huh. INEC have a discretion to choose, to choose either it. to transfer it, le, uh, uh, simple, uh, uh, simple yeah. Uh, and then INEC, look at what happened. INEC said that they're going to transfer it electronically. But during the election, I never discovered it was it was impossible to do that as far. They last had to do it manually. The court said that it was between the it was within the discussion of INEC to choose how to do it. That's now right. people are not blaming the court. Why what the court did was to interpret that simple section. Is it not to go to your, your member of House of Assembly or House of Rep and tell him, oh God, 
Please amend this law. You are saying the, the court did not make the law. The court did not make the law. Why are people attacking the court? Where I disagree with you. Where I disagree with you. Who made the law? Where I disagree with you. 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 It was in the guideline. See, the, the, the question is clear that for the purpose of election conduct and management, INEC shall be empowered to make laws. That's why INEC made guidelines. Listen, so it's the guidelines. Guidelines. That, 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 that guidelines cannot be, that guideline cannot be also, elevated oh, no law. But is it enshrined in the constitution? No, no, no it is not. not the 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 to manage the election. Once the electoral act mm -hmm. stipulates that INEC has discretion, all right? Is there? To use is there? any means. To conduct the election, whether electronically or manually. Uh, but once I make a set a rule, yes. Once I make a set a rule mm -hmm. that this is the way to go, I make is bound by that rule. I agree. The, the, the moment I make said, give us so 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 so. David, we are going to use it electronically. Do you know that? By 2015, this issue came up. They said that there was no electoral, yes. there was no uh, electronic uh, law accreditation. Yes, that was why the electoral act was reviewed. You remember when we had looked at the three man something when he was asked to sign the electoral act, he looked at it and saw that the three man delegate something mm -hmm. will be against the some of the politicians you say go back and look at this thing again no? but suppose you're, you're making a mistake let me tell you why you're making a mistake in 2015 there was a case i'm talking about the states now yes unless so she took okay see to court on the issue of Kadrida. yes the court appeal held that INEC INEC is banned by the Kadrida that the Kadrida is resort Yes. The uh, uh, okay uh, that uh, alleged team will win that the that the incident form are not binding and should no, not be used. They went to okay, see, Basu went to the Supreme Court. Yes. The Supreme Court agreed with Okay, see, Basu, and said that there is no provision of the Electoral Act that says that you must use Kadida. I agree. And that it is the Electoral Act that determines that whatever I make that like is is just an internal arrangement for the election. It is still what the court did today. No, no, that I'm was coming. why there wait was now, the wait now. the view of the election. Uh, is waiting now. Yes. Listen, I'm, I, I'm telling you what the law is. Yes. Now, right now, this, the court that two days ago said the same thing that the Supreme Court said that INEC guideline is still an INEC guideline. The same thing the Supreme Court said in the case of Ibarzo and the OT. That it is the electoral act that determines what is legal and what is not legal. And that electoral act then is different from. I'm the coming now. Act. Wait no. now. I am bringing it down. No. You, and this yes. you, you are saying the area of going. Reviewed. The area of going is that that, that same electoral act. Is the mistake. Wait now. The mistake the electoral act made was it should have been very clear to say that I next shall transmit this electronically. If it had been written in black and white, then I next will have no discretion. But. The electoral act gives INEC discretion as to how to make a rule. I'm coming. On what to rule? Yes, they made a rule. Yes. So I'm coming now. I'm coming now. I'm coming now. I'm coming now. That's where I'm interested. All right, all right. Uh, uh, that's that's the the because, of, uh, because of our time, that is the march we are going to take today. And um, yes. you know, normally, wherever you have uh, two lawyers, and the, th the, the, the third person might look like a judge. So when you have two lawyers, it must be argument. So I'm sure you enjoy every part of this discourse today. And also remember, Atiku and uh, Obi, they have also said they are rejecting this verdict and they are proceeding to the Supreme Court. So while we keep watching, I want to thank you so much for being part of this program. From my far left, I have St. Moses of Bona. St. Moses, we are happy to have you today. Keep watching the big television. And, and after to him, you. I have Barrister Empero of Bona. Barrister Empero, we are very glad that you are part of this program. Thank you very much, Abias. Let's keep having hope. And uh, Comrade Namde Lekwaji, we are very pleased to have you again. Today. Thank you so much. I'm also pleased to be here. Um, uh, it's, not, it's not ended. It's not over until it's over. I want to remind you that Nigeria is our country and Abia is our state and we aren't going to run away from it. So let us keep watching and let us keep waiting. Don't do anything, don't cause any harm, no violence, nothing. Remember, it is not over yet, just like the comrade said. This is your anchorman, Chinedum Adela. Until we come your way again, we say bye, keep watching Living TV.
Bye for now. Mm.